we're exploring some of my favourite four-wheel drive spots in the northern rivers of New South Wales. Leaving Pebbly Beach, we're on our way to Sandon Beach. The dirt road takes us right by a spot I've just got to show Bill. Oh, this looks a bit interesting, mate. A couple of little hills there with some, uh, some big holes in them. <laughs> yeah, a little, uh, maybe an understatement. There's a few mad hills here, aren't there? Well, they're pretty big, but they're just, they're short runs, aren't they? I offer to go first. Bill watches from inside the Ford Everest. Now there are a number of things that you can really do to assist your four-wheel drive to have a safe descent. The first one is to lower your tyre pressures if you haven't already. It's all about having maximum grip in an area where you may not have a lot to grapple with. Also you want to really use the technology in your four-wheel drive. So in this Ford Ranger we've got a whole host of stuff to play with. I've got low range gearing check I want to use that I've got hill descent control check I want to use that now if it is a particularly steep and straight hill and also very slippery it's not a bad idea to actually activate your rear differential lock as well because that will help stabilize the back end of your vehicle on the way down the hill now why do I say if it's a straight hill well if it has a lot of bends in it you really don't want to do that because you then will find it hard to actually steer your vehicle because a locked rear differential will have a tendency of pushing your vehicle in a straight line okay over we go this is pretty interesting this looks like it hasn't been driven in ages and I'm a wee bit concerned about that gravelly surface and just how much traction it's gonna have already kissed the dirt there so that tells me that this is really something for big hills now when you're doing these things you've got to keep light hands on the steering wheel and just coax your vehicle down and always have an eye on your exit because if your vehicle does start to roll down a little bit uncontrollably you want to get off those anchors and you want to Absolutely, uh, point your steering wheel in the right direction. Bill's turn now. His hill is shorter but much steeper. All I can see out my bonnet right now is uh, is quarry, so if uh, you can just guide me in, that would be awesome. For sure, mate. Okay, wheels on that lock, and then, yeah, no, continue on that lock. You're doing well. No, I think you can hold that line now, so yeah, now your front left is going to start to, to come down, but you're on track for, for that hole. This is so freaky. Ever so gingerly, Bill edges his way down. That's it, doing well. Yep, doing well. Breaking me out. You don't have to do it. Look, it's your car. <laughs> it's my car. Stop inspiring me with confidence. And with that, Bill takes a leap of faith. Yep, so your left hand's coming up now. Beautiful. Yep, well done. No, well driven, mate. Thank you. Next, a stunning beach destination. <laughs> and this is why you come to Sandon Beach. That's worth fighting over. Our top sand driving tips. My next tip is to not fight the steering wheel when you're on sand. A crafty little brewery putting great produce oh, to good use. A natural wonder you will want to visit. I could do without the crocs. But beware of the rapids. Rocks and rivers. And we'll make a sweet rocky road damper. <laughs> and make sure you check out the Mr. 4x4 app at mr4x4.com.au.